Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, once again, we're at Jay Leno's Garage, my favorite place on earth. Always something happened here, always something cool. Jay, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Will you stop doing I'm sorry. that? I, I thought you knew. I, was, I thought you I knew. I didn't know you were coming in. <laughs> Hey, Jay, I'm here. So uh, what do you want to talk about today? Well, tonight I thought we'd talk about uh, one of my favorite designers, W.O. Bentley. On this side of the Atlantic, it was, of course, the Duesenberg brothers. Yes, yeah, yes. But on the other side, it was uh, W.O. Bentley. And uh, he designed some uh, terrific, innovative cars. Uh, the Lagondo was sort of near the end of his career. These are cars designed for, uh, for Le Mans. These were the Bentley's first modern engine. These are 4.4 liter V12s, overhead cam, wow. 5,500 RPM uh, red line. What year? Uh, these were um, mid, mid 30s. Uh, these are 39, 38, 39. Uh, and what they did was they took basically his road engine and converted it into a Le Mans car and actually did quite well. But the Bentleys, everybody talks about are what they call the WOs. The WO Bentleys were built from 1919 to 1931. Like the Duesenberg brothers, like Stutz, like a lot of these guys, great engineers, bad business. <laughs> you know, because they overbuilt the car. They, got, they made the car so much better than they needed to be. And to it sell. cost a fortune to do that, of course. Right. Welcome back to My Classic Car and some of Jay Leno's Bentleys. This is, uh, this was the sort of swan song. This is a car that was meant to compete with the Rolls Royce. This is a uh, 1931 eight liter Bentley. In fact, uh, Rolls-Royce was so afraid of this car, they actually bought Bentley out in a bankruptcy sale and had really? all the, had, had the uh, eight-liter engines destroyed. They only had 100 of them made. But wow. it's a beautiful motor. It's a big, giant six-cylinder. Massive carburetors, too. Eight liters. SUs. Uh, not as massive. You can put a lot more car. <laughs> There's a lot of volume in there. Uh, as you can see, overhead cam, four-valve cylinder head. Um, although it looks like a big heavy car, there's a lot of electron and magnesium in that crankcase. So it, they, you know, they didn't not think of weight, but... Is that a spare set of plugs or...? Yeah, in the old days you'd carry a spare set of plugs. That was fairly common because plugs fouled quite easily in the old days. And uh, this is what you call an auto vac rather than a fuel pump. What it is is this holds about a gallon, uh, maybe about two quarts, and uh, a gallon of fuel. And as you're driving down the road, there's a little pump that keeps sort of siphoning or, or through vacuum pulls gas up and keeps that full. Top so top. it's like a giant float and then it goes down to your carburetors. And before you start the car, you, you turn that on. So how many of these did they make? They built 108 liter Bentleys and then uh, all the moles got uh, broken up and destroyed. But it's a brilliant engine. It's sort of like that American thing of uh, more cubic inches. You always hear about the supercharged Bentleys, but Bentley didn't like supercharging. He, he started with the three liter they went racing with that, and then they came out with the four and a half liter, and then the six liter, and then finally, the because people liter. were putting bigger and heavier bodies on, they went with the eight liter. But this one has some, uh, we'll take this one out a little bit later, but right now, the one I want to focus on is down here. This is a, this is a, a Speed 6 Bentley. This is a Brooklyn's car. Man, it's gorgeous uh, bodywork on this. Yeah, this sort of looks like, you ever see that scream? Ah! <laughs> that, that, who is that? That, is that Swedish, Swedish guy, yeah, Munch, right. whatever his name is. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's sort of what that looks like. When you see this in the rear view mirror of your Mini Cooper then, coming then out you there. Scream, then you scream. That's <laughs> correct. Anyway, that's, that's a six and a half liter taken to eight liters. This is also an eight liter Bentley Roadster. This is, uh, was, um, Oh, there's a guy named Jumbo Goddard, rather colorful figure in the 20s and 30s, and he had high-performance cars, and Bentley was the car to hot rod if you were in England. You know, that most cars it, it were 1,100 cc's or 1,500 cc's, where Bentleys were, were massive engines. Still ahead, we'll check out Jay's 1924 twin-turbo Bentley. Welcome back to My Classic Car and more of Jay Leno's Garage. This is a 1924 Bentley three-liter chassis. Okay. Uh, when I bought it, it was a race car, so I didn't butcher up a nice original car. And it had a four and a half liter engine in it. We took the four and a half liter engine out, uh, moved the seat back because we put in the big eight liter from that one over there, and we added twin turbochargers. Oh yeah, well, like it's eight liters, not enough in a little body like this. You always need, I live in a hilly area. <laughs> yeah. And I always need that little extra oomph to get you over the hills. But this is real, vintage horsepower. Wow. I mean, it's about the same as maybe a C5 Corvette would be. Now you it, had to, I mean, you had to, I would imagine, fab Everything these. here was fabricated. In fact, wow. when we made these crossover pipes, we realized the hood didn't shut, so hey, 
let's just uh, let's cut the hood out, and I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it does. It does. Well, now is this nickel? That's kind of a different. That's a brass. The the whole that's brass actually. That's brass. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's brass. And because you've got so much volume and with the turbochargers, we've lined the underside with radiators on the other side under here. You can see this uh, this grill. We made a special radiator and lined oh, it yeah. on the side. Yeah, I see that. Because it's just too much heat. That's your pop-off valve here. But everything in it is period Bentley, except the hydraulic brakes. Bentley's had mechanical brakes. We put hydraulic brakes on it, and uh, we put the twin turbochargers on it. What are these? dials and oh these here does. these are dampeners in the old days before shock absorbers you'd had springs on your car but your car tended to as a spring obviously compresses it rebounds so you're boing 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 yeah. you're going down the road like a pogo stick so what you see you just, you have medium you have heavy you would adjust it there's pieces of wood in there and what that happens is as the spring would compress it couldn't come up quite as quickly because the friction they're friction dampeners that would keep you from sort of bouncing down the road. So this is like, these were early shocks, basically. Yeah, yeah, early, early shocks, early shocks. Now, so you had to, did you have to refabricate the whole body? Or we made you... everything, we made everything for it. Wow. Uh, refabricated the dashboard. Man, the gauging in this is, is gorgeous. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love the dashboard. To me, there's nothing like a, a dashboard cannot be too busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not much room for anything else in there. These are your, your uh, turbo gauges that let you know what the temperature is at each turbo. That's the original Bentley clock, as you can see. It's and it's a, the correct time? That's the correct time. Either that or we're lucky. No, or either that or be right twice a twice day. Twice a day, exactly. Um, air meter, air water temperature, oil temperature, blah, blah, blah. Tachometer, boost gauge. And that's why it has what they call a dog box transmission. What's that? That's where you, on the, uh, you sort of cut every other gear so you can slam shift without the clutch. So you just, so you can go right through the box without using the clutch. Really? Yeah. You've got a big space, so, so there's a teeth, if there's a tooth missing. There's room. Yeah, there's room, yeah. yeah. Holy cow, now how long did this transformation take? Uh, it took about, uh, well, with all the R&D, about 18 months. That's not bad. No, not too, not too bad. Not too bad. But we use all period Bentley stuff, and uh, ooh, it's fast. Ooh, is it really fast? Yeah, and, come on, let's go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. My favorite words. Well, before Jay and I hit the road in his twin-turbo Bentley, we had to fill her up. And I'm talking food, not gasoline. Want a little cheese? Fortunately, Jay had recently transformed one corner of his shop into a gourmet kitchen. And you know, he's not a bad chef. On the menu was an Italian dish, of course. Mmm, pasta, meatballs. And for good measure, Jay fired up the grill and threw on a heap and helping of a spicy Italian of sausages. It was so nice, it's going to make me cry. And this way, the guys never have to leave the shop. That's they right, can... once we get the bunks in, <laughs> they're just here. And of course, they get paid in Leno dollars, which are <laughs> redeemable, of course, at the Leno store. So it all works out fine. There's no reason really to leave. Ooh. Jay's hands-on with his cars and with his cooking. This guy can do it all. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Our impromptu lunch really hit the spot, but it was about time to hit the road. Step on the seat. Yeah, step on the seat. It's such a nice car. Throw your ignition switch, fuel switch. You have two fuel pumps. One fuel pump regular. And then when, you, when you're on the turbos with eight liters, <laughs> you're sucking fuel at like <laughs> two to four miles per gallon. Like it was so, going out So of you'll style. go to that second fuel pump if you're running really high speed. Let's see, it's a little cold, but... Now, I came prepared. Are those prescriptions? Yes, they are. Wow, <laughs> prescription antique goggles. <laughs> and you know these things completely screw up my mustache, all your open cars. I know, you know exactly. Yeah, that's why you pick them, right?
pretty small car for a Bentley. Oh yeah. Engine takes up all the room. Hey, where do you tee around here? Whoops. <laughs> Not real smooth. Once again, Jay let me take the wheel. What a guy, and what a car! Hang on a minute. Oh, watch me kick it in gear now. <laughs> Jay, that would not be good, man. Ooh, not a bad fit. I'm gonna go and get on the freeway. How do we do that? Okay, uh, take the brake off. Forward? Forward, yeah. Is it that tight? No, just almost no revs. As we got back on the California freeway, I couldn't believe the awesome power in this 1924 Bentley. Well, she throws off some heat too, doesn't she? Uh -huh. Woo! What? It's, it's kind of warm in here. No, it gets a little toasty. Not even on the turbo. How's humiliating? <laughs> you put your foot in a little bit. Twin turbos screaming, my stash blowing. Jay's rides are never easy on my stash, but hey, it's a small price to pay for driving the coolest cars around. Fans run to cool her down? Yeah. Well, you know that those turbos do get you over those humps. A little extra oomph to yeah. get you over the hills. I mean, you kind of All need that done in. for practicality. <laughs> oh, you're always thinking, Jay. Always thinking. 